Hi, I'm Anthony, the Chief of Staff at the Appliance Doctors, and thank you for joining us for episode number six of the AppliancedoctorTV.com. And by the way, the AppliancedoctorTV.com website is now up and live about for about the last two weeks. So go check it out. You can go back and see all the episodes from when we started in December right up until this one. Uh, I want to just say that with the 4th of July coming, it's a few weeks away and people are graduating. It's a great time of year uh, and, and everybody's planning for their barbecues. We are uh, finishing and editing our book. It's only about 20, 24 pages. So that should be ready by the next show. Um, also, we're going to take you back today to the old neighborhood, the Park Hill section of the Arcus where I started. And we're going to go to see my mom's house, uh, my old house where I grew up and where we started. Uh, my mother no longer lives there. But, um, and that was back in 1980. Then we're going to go to Warburton Avenue, which we were there for 28 years, right, old, right close to the water. Going to show you some beautiful scenes from the water and then we're going to come back to McLean Avenue to where we are today. So I hope you enjoy this. Hi, this is Anthony, Chief of Staff at the Appliance Doctor, and this is where it all started 1980 on Beach Street in Yonkers, New York. It was my mother's house over here. And this was the garage. We had refrigerators and stoves in the garage. We used to recondition cells. And if you see, the sign is still up here. And this is where we lasted. We were here for one year until we grew too big and we moved out. Okay, we're in front of 24 Walburton Avenue. In 1981, we moved here and we were here for 28 years. We did reconditioned sales out of this location. We did new sales out of this location. And this is where basically it all built up and we got the momentum. And we're right in the Getty Square area, Yonkers. Okay, now we're in front of 171A McLean Avenue where we operate today. We've been here for the last three and a half years. Come on, let's go inside, take a look. Um, right, the only thing that I have available, but it's all just... Right, the, turn around to the phone, that's all. That's all. Okay, and here you got it. I'm in my office, my new office. And it's, it's a nice, it's a one bed, it's a bedroom. And I have my proclamations that I received for some work I did locally with some of the local organizations raising money. I also have, uh, I won the President's, well I got the President's Award from PSA in 1998, which is the uh, trade association that I belong to. Uh, there's another uh, NPSA, another organization that I got an award. There's another PSA Director's Award and another Presidential Award. So I am involved in the industry and that's why we have to continue to grow because of all the friendships that I've made all over the country. And it, it, it seems that whenever I need something, I have a problem on a specific make, I'm able to uh, get some help from some of my friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed the old neighborhood. See where the appliance doctor started. It was many years ago, 1980. Wow, how time flies. It's unbelievable. Uh, we received two letters, one from St. Mary's Episcopal Church, another one from Sharon Community, which uh, they were one of the first two people to receive the $500 uh, monthly donation. And... Um, so they really appreciate it, and that's good to know that they took the time out to write a letter back. Uh, this month's uh, donation uh, for $500 will go, it's a little more personal. Uh, we have a friend, Bob, he's in New Jersey, and he's been battling brain cancer for a year and a half now, and he's a real fighter. And uh, I felt that, you know, from seeing my grandfather and my uncle and my aunt suffer through this horrible disease, that we, I know that the 
bills build up. Even if you have insurance, they still build up. And so uh, uh, this will go to Bob and hopefully, uh, uh, although it's not enough, uh, hopefully it could help pay some of the bills that have been building up. Uh, so his brother-in-law, Ralph Wolf, is a very close personal friend of mine. We sit on the board together of PSA, which is Professional Service Association. It's the largest trade association in the United States. And uh, through Ralph, I had met Bob, and uh, what a wonderful human being, a wonderful man. And, uh, and my heart goes out to him and his family. Um, about a week ago, I had Consumers Report uh, come into this house to do an interview. They picked me out of the Yellow Pages and they wanted somebody who's been in the business a long time, and I think by 32 years qualifies for that. And uh, of course, thank you, the customers, because without you, customers are king. Customers are king. And without the customers, there's no appliance doctor. Okay, so I really want to thank you so. But they come in, they did a sh uh, uh, interview about 30 minutes, and they uh, said it's gonna air on 90, television stations, excuse me, uh, across the United States. Uh, in late July, early August, I'll let you guys know so you can tune in. And uh, again, I owe it all to my customers. And uh, I have some great customers, some loyal customers. And a lot of people can't say that in this day and age, in this economy, but I can. Uh, until next month, I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. Be safe, and if you feel like scrolling down, see some of the past episodes, be my guest. And remember, if you have any suggestions, email me at drx313 at aol.com. That's doctor spelled out, D-O-T-C-O-R, D-O-C-T-O-R, x313 uh, at aol.com. And again, I don't care if it's negative suggestions, uh, positive suggestions, any suggestions, how'd you like the show, how you didn't like the show, just, just email me and I'll take them all into the take. Okay, thank you and see you next month.